hello good morning youtube family how are you guys doing if you guys know the song please sing along wherever you are in your quiet corner so that the holy spirit will just have his way with this word and have his way in your mind and your thoughts holy spirit the what will come in this place holy spirit the what will come in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art well come in this place hallelujah hallelujah good morning once more youtube family as you guys realize i am at a new location this morning and this is because you know i need the peace and the quietness you know that i need to so that i can bring forth the word as the holy spirit as god needs me as our sovereign lord and soon coming king needs me to bring this word to his people so today on daily prophetic the word is new beginnings new beginnings and this is a a general a general word that you may wonder what ex what do you mean by new beginnings and as i was seeking god you know for more as he gave me this topic the scripture of the beginning of all things came to my knowledge and i and i know it was god bringing forth that knowledge to my mind and we all know the first scripture in genesis 1 verse 1 says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and through that scripture god gave me the revelation that you will create new things. You will bring things to life that cannot be duplicated, but expanded. He said, life is given by me and cannot be duplicated because that was a bit difficult for me to understand but he explained he said so when i deliver you i will give you life for new beginnings so now that you understand what god is saying new big the new beginnings the new thing he's going to create in you the new thing he's going to bring in life he's going to bring to life for you it cannot be duplicated because he is breathing life into it and no one can duplicate life. They can duplicate other things, but no one can duplicate life. And he continued by explaining me that this will baffle your enemies because they will be speaking things. They will be speaking vile things over your dead shell. And the revelation that the Holy Spirit gave to me was indeed a dead shell. It was a shell of a crab. And I saw words 
coming out of someone's mouth and the words was of like clean not clean air it was a spiritual air because that also allowed me to recognize which I knew before but I never saw it in that kind of revelation God never revealed it to me in that way but your words is it, it's spiritual air and it could bring curses and it could bring blessings but in this example the Holy Spirit revealed to me um, that your enemies was was the, the the air of words were speaking curses because I saw the word curses as the air came through. I saw curses, but when they spoke the curses, this they just was speaking vile things over your dead shell. They were speaking things over the person that you are not because you are not there anymore. You molded into new beginnings. And God himself came back in and explained to me. He said, just like when my son Jesus Christ was risen from the dead and brought new beginnings to mankind you guys think about it for just a minute Jesus Christ brought new beginnings to mankind through grace and mercy he brought that new beginnings so just understand what these new beginnings are about. Let me proceed. And the revelation he revealed to me about this, that when he sent his son Jesus Christ, and when he was risen from the dead, he brought new beginnings. The revelation um, God gave me, I saw the empty cross. I saw an, a picture of an empty cross, and I saw an empty a picture of an empty tomb and afterwards he revealed to me the, the the grave clothes that was left there as the evident of the new beginning and that Jesus was not there anymore if Jesus was there there would have there would not have been new beginnings if Jesus was still there, the word of God would be a lie and the word of God cannot be a lie. These are things of prophecies that were fulfilled from time past that God fulfilled. And I want you all to understand, I'm battling the mosquitoes, but just bear with me, that we all were predestined by God before the foundation of the world to become history changers. Listen, I'm changing it a bit, but just go with the flow as God is leading me. He, God was revealing to me that there are things that we must endure. Just like when his son Jesus Christ came to the earth, he endured things. He went through things. He was, he was persecuted, but it was all for the greater purpose to bring forth new beginnings to mankind. And as God revealed to me that, he gave me the revelation of what he is trying to say to us, his people, that we will become history changers of our generation. Hmm, Jesus. God is saying some of us were born to deliver our bloodline. And that is a history changer. To be the deliverer of your bloodline. Many of us bat is battling. I'm overcoming minds. But there are many of you all that are battling strong generational curses, strong bondage. But God has allowed you to be. God allowed you 
Oh, Jesus, God allow you to come into this world to deliver your bloodline and to become the history changer of your bloodline. I want you all to understand it. That you will be the deliverer of your bloodline. Just as Jesus came to deliver us from hell, as he came to deliver us from sin, that big of a change we are going to do for our bloodline. You see, this is not only about um, businesses and big fancy houses and, and lovely cars. You know, some of these things have to begin spiritually. Because once these things are delivered spiritually, then God can reveal his perfect will for us and our bloodline. Because maybe God reveals certain things to you that he is going to do, but his fullness cannot come forth until you are fully delivered. Thank you, God, for your leading. And also, I want you all to think about this because when God revealed this to me this morning, I was in awe. Do you guys, do any of you ever, have ever thought about this? That God was the first history changer think about it God was the first history changer he created heaven and earth nobody can duplicate that he created life no one could duplicate that God was the first history changer and because we were made in his image and his likeness. Just imagine what he will do for us. We are also history changers. But these things cannot be revealed until our deliverance. Until I'm seeing the word, thank you, Holy Spirit. Until the bondage, until the shackles, the spiritual shackles are broken. So bear that in mind, the new beginnings are also deliverance from bloodlines. History changes that God birthed to become the deliverer of their bloodline, which would enable them to be the history changer of their bloodline. I'm saying the word bipolar. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bipolar, those things are spirits. Those things are demons. Hear me well. Those things are demons. God created us in his image and his likeness. Everything that God made is great. No, there is a difference when someone is born with a disability than when someone is born with a spiritual mental disorder that would cause them to have behaviors that were not made by God. But let me get back in line to where God needs me to be. He also revealed to me that some of you all are afraid of fasting. Some of you all are afraid of fasting. But I'm a bit all over the place, so let me go back a bit. So remember, because I want you all to get it. New beginnings for history changer God is going to allow you to bring deliverance to your bloodline. New beginnings for kingdom businesses. Ideas that no one ever thought about. The unthinkable 
is what God is going to give you to birth forth. So just understand the new beginnings is those two things from what God revealed to me this morning. Okay, so let me continue. Yes, as I was saying, God revealed to me that some of you all are afraid of fasting. My minutes are almost over. I might have to do a part two. So bear with me. Um, some of you all are afraid of, are afraid of fasting. Hmm, let me tell you something. Hmm. So when you need spiritual deliverance from spiritual bondage, you have to fast. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Medication cannot help you. Only the blood of Jesus can deliver you from spiritual mental bondage. I'm saying bipolar. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fasting will enable God to fight this on your behalf because these things are strongholds that came down in your generations. I'm seeing the word also pedophile. These are things that true demons that travel down in your bloodline. And fasting is going to enable God to fight your case for you. And I'm going to give you all a testimony about me. About how mad I was at God when he called me to a 21 day. First it was a water fast, 7 day water fast. And the rest 14 days was liquid. I was mad at God. But look at me here today. Standing before you. I could have only did that. I could have only come through because I obeyed and fasted. My minutes is almost up. You guys take care and you be blessed. Until next time, take these keys and apply them according to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. If you need further information, do not be afraid to contact me. I will guide you according to the guidance and the will of God and the Holy Spirit. Again, take care. Until next time, be blessed.